love Supernatural. No, I mean, I, I guess don't. we can film that then. No, what were you going to talk about? Yeah, what was your idea? Well, what you were talking about with Matt earlier, I heard you talking about Matt and I got excited. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you were saying that you were thinking they were going to run um, this stuff into the ground. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm a little worried. I don't like I don't like all the TV shows. They're all You want to do that? They're coming out with another idea. We are talking about Yes, I am robot over here. What are you doing today? <sighs> How about the franchises? What's going on? I think both of them. I just hope they Both don't. of them. I mean, I like DC hasn't even, that's what you're referring to, right? Yeah, but DC hasn't even started yet. Yeah, they did. They did with Flash. That looks like a stupid show. Oh, okay. You're talking, I'm, I'm okay. You're talking about the TV shows. Yeah. So I was I, about I the think cinematic universe. And Gotham. Okay. I mean, even just in general. Arrow. Yeah, Arrow. So. Like, I think both of them, what they're doing is not, I don't think that what they're doing is smart. So that, so we're talking about how we think it's, they're going to run it all to the ground. And, yeah. Like they do with everything else. Yeah, that they're going to overplay. It's kind of like the music when you hear, for example, Taylor Swift. I mean, I'm going to admit it. I do happen to find her songs catchy, but when they keep playing them over and over and over and over and over again and you hear her, like, same song four times within an hour, it gets a little old and she gets annoying. And then I just don't want to listen to her anymore. So you listen to the radio or you turn it off and you put something I turn it off on. and I'll put something else on because I don't want to hear the same song over and over and over again. Okay. That's so. what it reminds me of. So you think it's going to happen with both of them? I'm a little worried. I just, um, I mean, we've already talked about, like, I do think as far as well done, more well-rounded, I think DC has done a much better job with, like, the Batman franchise. Like, what, is there two movies, actually? And I Wait, mean, which one are you talking about? Tim DB Burton? DB versus Marvel. No, I love the Tim Burton ones. Or I was, Nolan's. Those two. I'm saying in general, they are more well-rounded than what, like, Marvel has done. I'm worried, also worried that now that Disney's taken over Marvel, it is going to be less likely to actually be a more serious, like, um, a more serious film, I guess. Uh -huh. That it's always going to try to be, like, Disney. Like, and that Disney always, I mean, they have great cartoons. Like, I love their Disney movies, but I'm like, I don't want to see that get into Marvel. Unless you're doing, like, a fun cartoon, but uh -huh. it just almost, like, the writing is not... It's not good. It's kind of it's stupid. Like when you watch it, you're like, okay. You want know, like the Marvel movies? Yeah, like they dumb it down, and I don't know why they do that. Okay. It's it's not. They're some of their movies. Like that's my biggest issue with them is that they're not smart. That and that's why in general that's why I'm saying I think that both and like with the TV shows and everything that they just keep coming out. Like the other day I saw a commercial for the one girl that was in Captain America. She's got the brown hair and it's curly. She was one of the his girlfriend. Yeah, and she's gonna Agent be, Carter. Yeah, and she's gonna have her own series. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't want to see that. And then I just, I don't know. It just seems like they're gonna overplay everything. It's like they don't have anything to do, so they're just gonna take these two things that are awesome and have so much uniqueness about them that and just completely ruin it. Is what I'm concerned that Hollywood's gonna do that. Yeah, I think that's inevitable. I think they're going to run I it. I don't want to them the to do that, though. Because, um, like, what I was thinking earlier with Marvel, like, there's been so many movies now. I don't know how many there are. And DC's just getting started with their shared universe with Man of Steel. Um, I, 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 always, I was saying the other day that I think what would be funny is if they didn't, um, DC and Warner Brothers, if they didn't put anything out for a while and they spaced out their movies more because I think that they might be putting together I think you were saying this a uh, better type of movie it's smarter it's a smarter movie it's like there's more character there's more it's character development like yeah. everything's just it's more well rounded I think yeah and so I, that's what I think DC's doing I mean, I'm a little nervous that they laid out like the next five years of movies I think it'd been better if they would not have done that at all and just start dropping movies and not really kind of told unexpectedly. Me. Or yeah. do you mean like not told anybody? Yeah, didn't tell okay. anybody. I mean, it would be nice because then you're not also like the anticipation and that you hear about all these actors. And honestly, I mean, if you look, I mean, I think this, they're not 
like if you in the 90s yes it's the 90s and it is what it is but 90s had so many great epic movies and now i feel like you get once maybe one a year like it's like they just don't have the type of I don't know. They just kind of go in, they half-ass it, and they're just like, "Hey, I'm gonna put this out there." And then some people like it, but it's like, "Hey, this movie, it's it could it could have been so much better if you wouldn't have thought about money, 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 money. How much money can I get off this instead of being like, you know what? I want this to just be an amazing movie, and I want people to enjoy it. I think they're so that's the only thing. And I'm talking about like casting and stuff that I I hope that they are not gonna try to just money who who can get the money who can get the money i'm like no you need to actually think about this because these could be so like these movies could be fantastic and yeah. fun and be around forever so like 10 years down the road you're like oh my gosh do you remember that movie that movie was amazing kind of like how we do with certain movies of the 90s yeah so marvel's starting to feel to me like a factory i mean because like the ant-man trailer was very underwhelming I, I, the, the only thing, the only, someone told me that they thought it was supposed to be, like, funny, like, kind of making fun. I was confused about it. I, that's, I mean, so like, that's the only thing. It could be, like, I guess if they're trying to be funny, it could be good. But then I'm like, if they aren't, if they're trying to be serious, it looks stupid. Because, yeah, it kind of came on to me, kind of, it started kind of serious, had, like, a serious tone to yeah. it. Yeah. And then Paul Rudd came on and was like, um, like, he said, you, like, can we change the name or yeah, something? I don't just, know. I don't know. And I'm like, I think that was supposed to be a joke. It didn't really feel like a joke. Not like a good one. <laughs> and he, I love Paul Rudd, too. I think oh, yeah. he's, a, he's a fantastic actor. And I'm like, it, it feels like they're not taking their time and they are just trying to make so much money. And it makes me kind of sad because I'm worried that eventually it's just going to be another thing. Like, yeah. just another thing, another fad. And I'm like, no, like, these things are really like good like walking dead is a fantastic comic book they made it into a tv show but it's an amazing tv show wow. when you watch it people get really involved with it and they I just don't feel like it's that way with marvel as much yeah i read an article the other day where they were talking about how they think that these it's already starting to get overexposed yeah i'm like wow they're starting to have that conversation already yeah and there's like like seven or eight more movies that have to come out I'm like that's that doesn't no that doesn't look good. It does not bode well at all for that. No, no. So I I was like uh, I've watched Agents of Shield. It's I was I would I wouldn't watch it on TV because I just, I didn't feel like it was worth the time. But I'll watch it on Netflix because mm -hmm. it kind of seemed like a show. I mean, not that Netflix is bad or anything. I was happier watching it on Netflix because it just kind of seemed like a silly show to watch. It was kind of fun. Have you even seen it? I mean, I can tell you I just watched Batman and Robin. That's a shitty movie. That's a, it's not a good movie. That's what I'm saying. So I, I think that they Do you think Marvel's going to officially get to that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to I, that's what I'm worried about that it's going to be so stupid. Like when you watch it, you're just like, like he just, he was like, it's everything is there's like a punchline and then it just, and he repeats it like Four times. You don't think just, it'll get that bad? No, I, I think that, I, I hope not, but I, I'm afraid that if they don't stop what they're doing, uh, that yes, it is. So you think they should, what do you what do you think that they should do? Should they slow down? Should they stop making movies? I don't what know. Do you, if, what, do you, if what do you recommend? I actually think if they are going to continue doing it, they need to take their time. And I think that I don't have a problem with them having whatever the next couple years planned out but i'm like they need to be well casted well written like smarter they just have to be like that movie was not smart it Which was one? uh batman like the batman on top of batman and robin oh the one with arnold schwarzenegger and, so are you talking about dc movies or marvel movies? i'm switching back and forth is what i'm saying what i'm saying is is i'm concerned that marvel if they continue to keep doing what they're doing they're going to end up turning into that particular batman movie that eventually it's going to segue into that uh -huh. that it'll get so generic and like for example hulk they are going to dumb him down to where he doesn't speak in bane doesn't speak in this and all he does is bane exit like that's it and i'm like that's that's not how he is mm -hmm. and that's not how Hulk is. Hulk is actually, he's, you know, he's an intelligent and there's a lot going on. He's actually kind of a tortured character <clears throat> with, I mean, not all of the comic books that I've read, but some of them, yes. And it's just kind of, it's, I, to me, I think if they slow down and don't, and they actually take their time, make sure that it's smarter, you know, make sure they have the right casting, then I think that they'll be fine. Just want to pump out all these movies, like the quality over the quantity, then 
they're going to end up just like that. And then eventually, they're, it, people are going to forget about that and they're going to stop watching them, I think. Okay. Slowly but surely. Is it recording? Okay. Um, watch us on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, please do. Uh, we both do other things. Melissa does hair. You can go on skysignentertainment.com <laughs> and look at her hairstyles. Mm -hmm. And go see her, email her for an appointment. Yes. Uh, I do music production and music videos. Hopefully I'll be doing something here real soon. Uh, another video of some sorts. So check us out and subscribe to the channel. Next time we film, we'll be at Titan Comics. And we'll be filming in there. And we're trying to get into Dallas Comic Con. Which would be fantastic and amazing. And I put in a request to interview uh, Melissa McBride. Let me see her. Oh, it's uh, Carol. It's the so it's the actress that plays Carol. Yeah, she'll be there. And then Star Trek. Oh God. Nichelle Nichols. Uhura. <laughs> Nichols. I <laughs> shall right, so we put in a request to interview her. Okay. As well, I don't know if we'll grant it. Still a try.